Hey YouTube fam, what's going on? It's your girl, Raquel. I'm back as promised with another video. I'm sorry it took me so long to get this video with this huge box. Y'all, this is all the stuff that I use in my hair on a weekly basis. And y'all, let me tell you, it is getting me somewhere in this process. I don't even know where to start. Let me put this box down. Let me just tell y'all at first, at first, what's been going on. Yeah, I spent my whole week try. I got my shirt on backwards. God, I ain't have to say that. Either. Anyway, I spent my whole week looking at houses. It's hard trying to move online. Uh, I did go ahead and accept the job. I don't know if everybody saw that video, but if you did, you know what I'm talking about. Everybody else, I let y'all in. Uh, I accepted a job in another another city, and uh, I expect to be moving soon. And I've been searching for houses. But yeah, anyway, let's talk about what this video is about, which is my hair. Let me show you guys. I'm going to put some pictures up here of what my hair looked like before I started this uh, aerobatic journey into what it looks like now, y'all. Yeah, I got some little twigs. It's still wet. I just finished washing it. So soft. So soft. I did my henna treatment last night. So yeah. And it's pretty long. Just thin as a cat's ass, but it's pretty long. Pretty long. But anyway, anyway, what we hear about, y'all wanna know what's all in this box. What's not in that box, I decided to grab out so I can show you guys, which is the shampoos and conditioners that I use. I use this Purdue um uh, argan oil organic shampoo Pudora Purador, I don't know but that's what it looks like yeah I use this I also use this uh, ABBA moisture shampoo I had the conditioner as well but I ran out but I really like this it's got a real spiral minty tingling feeling I really like this one um, I like these two as well. This is the um, Hella V Shampoo Cleanse and Defreeze Shampoo and Conditioner. All the things I use are all, all organic, paraben free. Um, and they use, like this one has organ oil, tea tree oil, rosemary oil, peppermint oil, cedar oil, marula oil, grapefruit oil, lemon oil, horsetail extract, sal palomanto, willow bark, nettle extract, soy and wheat. Uh, proteins, silk and amino acids, vitamin B, vitamin D3, and vitamin E, both in the shampoo and the conditioner. But every every one I put in my hair all organic. And this one I just started using. It's been about three weeks ago now. This is the Better Night Younger Volumizing Conditioner and the Better Night Younger Wake Up Call Volumizing Shampoo. Again, all natural, paraben free. Um, no phthalates, no, no, nothing. Uh, what's in here? Y'all, I can't even see this. This writing is too small. They got me on this. I can't see this, but I've only been using this. I used it maybe twice in the last three weeks, and I used it a couple times while I was gone. But I did notice I like these better. So I can't say a lot about these, but I do know the ones I just showed you. These shampoos and conditioners are good. This Purdue is really good, but I like a lot of suds, so I just use it every now and then, mostly in my wigs. This uh, shea butter and flax oil, this curling cream, it's a little loose. I like to mix this more with um, with my powders, like the um, hibiscus powder, to increase moisture. But I got a new one. I'm gonna share it with y'all when it get here. A new curling cream. And I've been trying to get through this extreme uh, wet line gel. It's okay. It's a little too watery for me. I like my gels a little bit thicker, but I'm going to finish it. Um, I got this 100% pure Jamaican oil. This is out of the box because I used it today. I pull this box out every week when I do my hair. I really do. Okay, let's get to what's in here. I got this. Um, Originals Hair Minage Treatment for Weak Damaged Hair. I mix this 
with this, which is almost out. I need to get another one. This Giovanni um, Hydrating Calming Conditioner. I mix these two together and put in my powders. I'm just telling you now. I'm just telling you now. I think that's it for the cream products. Yeah, it is. It is. Now, for um, my hair color, y'all notice that all of my gray is washed out to my hair. All in white, salt and pepper lines is gone. <laughs> And I credit that to this product right here, which is my uh, Newport Henna. That's what it looks like. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. When I first started doing this back in late December, I ordered this Henna Natural. Now, I like it, but this one, let me go, let me back up and slow it down. This is the one I started using, but this is nothing but Henna alone, just pure Henna, 100% henna with no chemicals. I got this on Amazon, okay? And then I discovered the new pour henna, which has henna plus nine herbs. Let me tell y'all, it has uh, jazz one, brahmi, shikari, minty, neem, jatisma, aloe vera, uh, briongo, and alma. All of that powder is inside of your henna. And you get three of these. One, two. It comes packaged just like this with three packs inside the box. I mean, inside the bag, including this one. You get three of these for $21. I think this was like six for one box. So I got enough here to last me. I do my hair maybe once every two months uh, for color. And I use the henna for conditioner once a week. Yeah, for a deep conditioner, so this is going to last me for at least three months. But when I was buying this, this is how I ended up getting so many of the other powders because I didn't have this in my henna, so I purchased everything separately. Like this will be my, oh yeah, let me go with this first. After I use the henna, I know I'm all over the place, y'all bear with me, okay? Just, just bear with you, girl. After the henna treatment... I go in with the indigo to get my color. I really like the Five Guys Henna. Um, I can't really remember how much this big bag was, but I think it was, I know it's under $20. But yeah, I like this. This is what got me this dark this time because I was using a little cheap one too, but I wasn't getting this dark. So I'm really liking the Five Guys Henna treatment. Now, the reason for everything else, like my neem, because it wasn't in my henna, I had to buy it separately. My aloe vera. I mix these now in my conditioners and I don't have to mix them in my henna anymore. So I just use them once a week to mix in my conditioners for deep conditioners that I get under the drying with. Um, I got my Brahmi. These are all just the powder forms that's kind of crushed down. Um, I have my Alma powder, I got my Shikaki powder, like I said, they're in my henna, but not in my conditioners, so I'm going to use those till I use them up. I have my fenugreek powder, fenugreek powder is really good for hair growth, and I use this in everything, from my henna treatments to my deep conditioner treatments on the, during the week, and again, all of this y'all is directly on Amazon. Y'all see this love? I'm a, <laughs> this stuff really works. All these aerobatic treatments really, really work. I, just, um, I got this organic hibiscus powder. Hibiscus is really good for moisturizing the hair. Um, it helps your hair maintain moisture. And um, ooh, If y'all see the little white spots, that's because my hair ain't all the way dry. With all these powders, I just crushed versions of the original leaf. All organic, all natural. Um, the next one I have is the Moringa Powder. It's supposed to be a healthy superfood, but I cannot stand the way Moringa tastes. And when I found that it works really good in my hair, that's what I've been doing. The strengthening and growth. Nothing better than the fenugreek for the growth. Matter of fact, I even have fenugreek seeds that I use for my all-natural um, oil. The Ayurvedic oil that I make, which I left on my bathroom counter. I was going to show you guys. Uh, matter of fact, I think it's almost empty. Let me go get it. I'll show you. Well, 
I'm right. It's gum. That's what I save my um, ordinary bottles for. But that's what the oil looks like. But it's all used up. And you guys will see all the ingredients in the oils that I normally make. Um, I got some extra virgin olive oil. That's what's really grown my hair. Not getting thicker, but it's getting longer. I have some organic hemp seed oil. Y'all, I have to tell y'all, this <sighs> smells horrendous. But we can see the results. <laughs> we can see the results. I got some grapeseed oil, but it's not in here, I guess, because it's on the cabinet. But I got um, avocado oil. Alma fruit oil. Alma is for moisturizing. I know you guys know. I think that's what's really growing my hair a lot. Tea tree oil. Castor oil. Vitamin E. Now these y'all, I just picked up in Kroger's while I was shopping. I was like, wow, I didn't know they carried this. And... I've got oh African wild honey. That's for my deep conditioners that I do on the weekend. And I honestly do put it in on a Saturday midday about one and I leave it in until the next day around five or six that night. I have uh I don't know why this vegetable glycerin. I don't remember what I used it for, but it had to be something. And the last few things are my natural oils which is eucalyptus, peppermint, and is this sage? Oh, it's tea tree, and I do have sage and lavender, just not in the box because they're on my bedside table. The uh, lavender and peppermint I put on my little edges at night, which y'all notice I got some now. They grow in box. <laughs> and the last thing, y'all, that I buy for my hair, and I have to buy this every week, and that's the real aloe vera leaf. I get these at Wally World because it's closer than uh, I can't think of the name of the health food store because I wouldn't go in there because it's so expensive so I just get them at Walmart for like $1.99 and that's the original uh, the real aloe vera and I use one of these I'll cut it in half like halfway and I'll use everything up from this top half and I'll put it in a um make a double boiler method in my crock pot and I'll cube them all up really small and I put it uh with the with the ends on and everything with the green part on I'll cube it up in a jar under some water on two of those little jar tops and close that crock pot up crock pot crock pot up and uh, I put all the oils the fenugreek and some peppermint and some lavender oil in there. Close that sucker up. Close the crock pot because I had it kind of, you know, thumbs up. But anyway, close it up and I'll put it on simmer, low simmer for six hours. Y'all, when that oil come out, it be stinking. Oh, goodness, it be super stinking. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> so I put some more peppermint and some more lavender in there to get rid of the smell. And that's pretty much what it looks like. And I accredit my new found edges. <laughs> to this between the henna treatments I'm not sure uh, about the, the indigo but it doesn't hurt it can't hurt any worse than me dyeing my hair my edges every month probably had a lot to do with them thinning outside of the braids too you know so yeah guys if y'all wondering where I've been girl what you've been up to when you seen you what you doing I just did I, I'm going to tell y'all the truth this is so petty so pitiful so pathetic I started my hair Sunday night, I put in the henna, and I left the henna in Sunday, 8 p.m. until Monday, 8 p.m. I know, I know, I know, I was being lazy. So I washed it out about 9, 9.30, and then I put the henna in there with, uh, washed the henna out. I did the indigo. You know, you take the henna, and you, I mixed mine. Uh, with lemon juice, but you can use lemon juice, vinegar, you can use water, whatever you want to use. You know, whatever you feel comfortable using. I use lemon juice. Anyway, and then after I washed it out, I did my indigo, 
and I mixed my uh, same 100 grams. I measured out 100 grams of indigo and I mixed it with black tea. And this is where I got this super black hair. And y'all know, if you watch my video, there's a whole lot of white up there. But I washed it right out of my hair <laughs> with the indigo after the henna treatment. Works great. My hair is not hard. It's not bristly. It's not, it's just so, it's just melty, super soft. It's so soft. Y'all can see. And it's got a little hang time. Look, look got a little shake a lack. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna fit perfect under my wigs. That's my biggest thing. Cause I, I probably don't never want to comb my hair again. I know. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all about my neem butter. I was about to put it up. I got the raw natural neem butter, y'all. Y'all know what this smell like. For real, I don't put mine in the fridge. I don't want it to get hard. It's real loose, and I like that. I'm going to tell you what this smell like. And if you my age, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. Or if you near my age, this smell like some bunk weed. <laughs> that's what it smell like. That's what we called it when I was young. Ooh, that's some, ooh, you got some bunk weed over there. You know, it's just no good. That's exactly what this smell like. But I like the way it softens my hair. It smooths it out. I just get all the knots and naps out with my fingers. I almost forgot to share it with y'all. That too, I got off Amazon. Y'all don't make me list all that stuff. That's a whole lot of stuff. I'm just sharing the information. So, I'm talking slow. Watch the video slow. This is some good stuff, y'all. And everything you see, everything that you see here, just pause it, write it down. You can Google it and get it on Amazon. Everything. I think I got this at Walmart, though. Did I get this at Walmart with a four ninety five sticker on it? I don't know where I got this from. I know it's on Amazon because of that sticker. And this one needs oh beauty supply. I got these at the beauty supply store. That's where I got these from. These two here, the beauty supply store down the street. But y'all know everything at the beauty supply store is where now. And Amazon, especially this, uh, this is Shea Moisture Black Castor Oil here that I use. Yeah, I like this little pump because I can just go like this any old time, any old place. Feel like them edges feeling a little swift or before I pop on the wig, I want to make sure they juicy, J and gently because I don't want, you know, the wig to cause any damage on all my work that I've been doing to get this hair to come back. I don't start talking at y'all, I ain't it though. Yeah, I start talking. Y'all know where I can go. And wasn't nobody even going to say nothing. If it had not been for that car going by too loud, I would have really been running my mouth. Okay, guys. This is it. I want to be sure I got this video up to share with you guys. I have... Let me go ahead and tell y'all another whole truth and nothing but. I finally placed my Sephora order this morning. About 8, 9 o'clock. I meant to do it last night, but I fell asleep watching and waiting for something new to pop up. So this morning, about 7, 30, 8 o'clock, I just went on and clicked it. I was waiting on that mini Natasha and Denona palette. One more day to come back in, and it didn't. You know what they put up? Some brand new NARS stuff. NARS Orgasm X. And, and I really like NARS, but I refuse. Because lately, everything I get from NARS, lastly, being that little blush palette, they just don't make it dark enough for my skin. I'm going to accept that, and I'm just going to stop trying to force it. So I went ahead and checked out. And I'm going to tell y'all. Do y'all know what the shipping delivery said? May 21st. Hey, man, it's my fault. I should have been ordered. I should have stopped playing, going back and forth on what to get. But it's like that old blues song said, I waited too long. I played around too long. My fault. I can't be mad at nobody. So, yeah, y'all. I'm glad I got this video up. I ain't got y'all sitting over here on my shoulder saying, girl, you know, you told us you were going to post that video <laughs> and not do it. So, I got it up. Y'all, keep me in your prayers. I've been praying for y'all. I hope everybody is wonderful. And wish me luck on this move. Did I say to, to Dallas? I didn't tell y'all. Yeah, that's why I think I'm going somewhere out there in the area. Y'all don't know where I'm at because y'all know I'm going to do a whole big old video. If I ever find a house, not in the heart of Dallas, because I don't want no more city, so it's somewhere around about like that, okay? <laughs> I know somebody said, girl, why are you moving again? What you moving for now? Because I got a job offer, girl, and it's good. 
And this time, I'm going to stay longer than the contract. <laughs> I'm going to stay longer than the two years. I'm just going to chill on out. You know, I was thinking about going to Atlanta with my brother. But that's neither here nor there. I think I'm going to go and do this because, I don't know, I just got a feeling, an urge that this is what I need to do. Oh, talking again. Ooh. So, yeah. I will keep y'all updated, and I will keep you in, your, in my prayers, and y'all keep me in yours, all right? I love you guys, and I will talk to y'all soon. Did I tell y'all I bought a bunch of, somebody wanted me to buy human hair wigs. Girl, I bought two. One, I had it for two weeks now. It came from Korea. I ordered it in two days, and I'm going to tell you, I sat on the box, on the porch, because I was a little shaky at first. Then I was like, boy, this government know they something else got me. And I opened my box, bottom of the house. Y'all, that hair is so beautiful. And then the other unit I got, it came from a beauty supply. I ordered it, but it ordered it from uh, online. And I'm going to tell you about it when I post them. Now I'm going to quit on top. I'm going to quit. I'm going to keep on talking. Y'all see that slickness? My mouth wants to keep going. <laughs> now I'm going to quit all this talking. And I will see you guys in the next video. Y'all stay blessed. And uh, see you soon. Bye, guys. Ha, 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 ha.